Hi, this is a quick video on how to set the custom weight balance on a Canon 60D camera body. Probably similar on other Canon cameras. Um, if you're watching this, you probably know why you want to do this. Um, I find that if I'm shooting in uh, a banquet hall maybe or basketball gym, sometimes the lighting is such that objects that should be white don't look very white. So, one thing you're going to have to do here to set this, there's a couple ways. One, you can go to the place where you're going to shoot or do it when you get there, no big deal, when you first arrive. Shoot a photo of something white or you can shoot a photo of an 18% gray card which I think you can buy from a camera shop or mail order. Or another option is sometimes if someone's got like a gray sweatshirt on in a gym, if you take a picture of that, that works nicely also. So what I'm going to do is take a picture in my basement. Um, the lighting is not very good in this one spot and I've got a whiteboard down there. And you'll see that it's kind of purple. Then I'm going to set the custom white balance to adjust for the lighting conditions in the basement. And I'll take that picture again and show you. And you'll see how much of a difference it makes. Next thing I'm going to do here is go to a little shot of the back of the camera body rather than try to explain it to you. I'll just take you through it. Also, this is on page 97 of the 60D manual that I have. Um, it's fairly straightforward. When I first looked it up the first time, I had to play with it because I was slightly confused. But um, anyway, this should clear up any problems you have, and uh, hopefully it'll help you out. Your video. So first thing I'm going to do is switch it on. So I've taken a photo of something white or primarily white in the poor light. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to hit menu here and then you can see probably if you're familiar with the camera you know you can go through these different um, tabs at the top but one of them says white balance and this is where you tell it what the white balance should be but to set the custom white balance you gotta go down one. So all you do is click that and then you see photos that you've taken so what you do is go to the one where you didn't like the white balance and it's probably difficult to see on here but when I import on the computer you'll see it this is um, some whiteboard in my basement and it looks pretty much purple so what I'm gonna do is just say set and then it says use white balance data from this image for custom white balance push your little joystick control over here to get it to say OK and then just click it. Then what you do is go up to your white balance tab and most of the time it's probably set on this auto white balance but there's different settings here but this one way over to the right is your custom white balance so if you press set right there now it's on the custom setting you just created with that photo of something white that wasn't very white when you took the photo so then if you take another picture of the same thing and look at it just in the viewfinder in the back you should see that it looks a lot better now I'm gonna have to show you this on a computer screen because a video of the back of this camera is not gonna work very well we can try it I'm not sure how it's gonna come out but that's the first one and then that's the second one um, I think this video camera is trying to white balance these photos and making them look strange so before you make a judgment on how this worked let's get over to the computer and import both of these photos and then let's take a look at them side by side so here we go I imported two photos one I shot with a level of white balance and I don't even think it was auto but I'll just say it was a level of white balance and uh, it looks kinda of purplish which you'll see in a second I used that photo and said I want to custom white balance and set that in the camera and took it again you can see the difference so basically here's the first one and hopefully in the video you'll see this it's got a real purple tint to it so then I set the custom white balance told the camera I want to use the custom white balance took the same photo again and now I get this photo you can see what is supposed to be white is much closer to white. 
Um, so it's fairly simple to do. Um, remember to use your reference photo as something that's white. And I just said primarily white because you can see there's some objects in here that are not white. Um, you can get an 18% gray card. You should be able to order online or get at a camera store. Or sometimes you can use someone's uh, you know, gray sweatshirt in the crowd. That also seems to work really well.